An editorial by WCVB Channel 5 President and General Manager, Bill Fine. Will build that seawall become Boston's new rallying cry? Watching the devastation from Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, and given Boston's proximity to water, that makes us muse. How well prepared are we for a superstorm? The last hurricane to seriously devastate our region was Bob in 1991, but much has changed since then. More development on the waterfront, combined with a warming Atlantic due to climate change, means the next major storm will likely have a much more significant impact, disrupting daily life and damaging our economy. Last year's Climate Ready Report by the City of Boston estimates the sea level will rise by eight inches in the next dozen years, perhaps a foot and a half by 2050, eventually making major flooding a monthly reality if we do nothing. There's a role to play for everyone. Legislators should look at reforms in flood insurance that will discourage rebuilding in overly vulnerable areas and a plan for business and homeowners in coastal zones. Municipal officials must identify flood protection strategies and large developers should consider worst case scenarios in their planning, putting critical infrastructure on upper floors. Now a team at UMass Boston is studying an even more dramatic solution, erecting a harbor barrier to protect Boston and perhaps even neighboring coastal communities. That super seawall could come with a $10 billion price tag, perhaps too much to swallow for a big dig scarred public. But for a city and region that is surrounded by water, it's a much larger conversation and perhaps debate that we need to accelerate right now.